In this video, we are going to look at using and configuring the Ubiquiti NVR web interface. The first thing you want to do is open a browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Internet Explorer is not currently supported by Ubiquiti. Next, we're going to navigate to the web interface of our DVR. Notice the colon port 7080. Next, we'll log in using the credentials provided during our setup. After logging in, you'll be presented with the list of cameras managed by your NVR. Let's click on the first one. The most common settings on this tab is on-screen display. You will have an option for timestamp overlay. By default, this is turned on. This is the timestamp that's recorded in the top left of the video feed. Next, let's look at the four record mode options. The first option is to never record any video. This is useful if you want to connect the camera to your NVR, but only view a live feed. The next option is always record, which is pretty self-explanatory. The video will always be recorded. Record only motion allows the video to only start recording if motion is detected. We'll go over record on schedule last. Let's go ahead and look at the motion detection options. By default, the system will record 5 seconds before a motion event was detected and 5 seconds after a motion event was detected. You can change this option by clearing out the number and entering a new variable. Click configure zones. That will bring up this page which allows you to define the motion detection zone. As you can see I already have a zone defined. I'm going to delete the zone by clicking the delete button then pressing save. You can create a new zone by putting four dots on the page. Anything within the blue area will trip the motion detection. Anything outside of the blue area will not trip the motion detection to begin recording. If the motion detection has been tripped, everything on the camera will be recorded. In this example, I'm going to filter out the back fence. So anything above the blue line will not trip the motion detection. If anything within the blue area trips the detection, everything on the screen will be recorded. Another option I want to show you is the motion sensitivity. You can adjust this option down to, I wouldn't go less than 50, up to 100. 80 is the most common setting for this option. Once you've saved the zone, you can exit. Let's look at the map option. The software allow you to find your location on the map by using Google Maps and then saving the map. You can also upload an image to the software. I already have the location set, but I have an unplaced camera. Next I'm going to show you how to place the camera on the motion detection map. This camera has not been placed yet. We will drag the camera onto the map. As you can see, a green camera path has been created for us. Now by default, this is a pretty big area for the camera. So what you'll want to do is zoom in on it, click on the camera, zoom out a little, and then you'll see this little black circle. Dragging the circle back in, will allow you to make that smaller to make it more realistic of what is being recorded. And you can rotate the camera by clicking and dragging on the black circle. This camera is now pointed in the correct location. After the camera has been placed, you can click the X. This is file is automatically saved. Live view 
As you can see, I already have a six camera view to show all the cameras I have on the NVR. You can create a new view by clicking New View at the top left. Choose a layout. In this example, we'll use a four camera setup. Choose your cameras by clicking on the camera picker icon in the bottom right. You can name the view and then click Save. You can change the view by clicking the drop down in the top left. Finally, you can delete a view by clicking Edit View, Delete, and confirming the deletion. Next, let's look at the recording options. By default, all recordings from all cameras will be shown for the, follow for the current day. Let's look at the driveway camera for the last seven days. You can see all the recordings for the last seven days on the driveway camera. Let's choose one. Clicking on the camera will bring it up in the display. As you can see, it looks like there's some cobwebs on the IR lens. This is causing, when the wind blows, it's causing these uh, spider webs to move, which is causing the motion detection. We can see what area is being detected of motion by clicking the lightning bolt. The red area indicates where the motion was detected. You can lock a recording to prevent it from being archived or overwritten by clicking the lock button. This will prevent the system from automatically overriding the video recording. You can download an MP4 copy of the video recording by clicking the download button. The MP4 file will be playable with Windows Media Player or VLC Player without any other additional codecs being installed. Next, let's look at the Alerts tab. Currently, there are no alerts. If a camera was to get disconnected or once it's reconnected, you would receive a message alerting you at the date, time, and what camera was connected or disconnected. The Users option allows us to view all users of the NVR. By default, the first user created is the Super Administrator. The super administrator can change his or her password by clicking on their account name and clicking the password tab. You can create additional users by clicking the add user button. You can click at the account tab to enter the person's full name, email address, and to select from an existing group. By default, the only group is administrator. You can create a new group by clicking the new group option and then selecting the permissions for the user. You can allow alert notifications via email by checking the box on the top left. You can allow them to view certain cameras, edit cameras, view recordings, and edit recordings. Please keep in mind that edit recordings will allow the user to delete recordings from the NVR. Once you've made your selection, you can name the user group and then click Save. That option will now be available from the drop-down selection for the user. You can set the user's password by clicking the Password tab. Let's go back and look at the schedule recording for a moment. Let's click a camera, Recording, choose the Record on Schedule option, and I already have a schedule in here for Work Week. Let's go ahead and look at that schedule. You can modify your schedule by clicking and dragging to select the time. As you can see, this recording would happen between 7 a.m. and 4 or sorry, 5:30 p.m. You could do this for each day of the week. Name your schedule and then click save. The camera would only record during the time specified.
Finally, let's look at the settings tab. This allows you to change the time zone, receive email connection alerts. This is when a camera is disconnected or it gets reconnected. This would be helpful if you wanted to know if someone cut the wire to the camera or if the camera got disconnected. Motion alert emails send you an alert whenever motion is detected on the camera. The default time for motion alert emails is 5 minutes. This means once motion is detected on the cameras, 5 minutes passes and then motion is detected again, you'll get a separate email. If motion is detected multiple times within the 5 minutes, you only get one email. You can click configure email alerts to receive emails on disconnect or on motion. As you can see, I have the motion for the front door always set. You can also set a schedule for motion detection emails. To do this, you can click New Schedule. And just like we did before, this will allow you to define the schedule for receiving motion detection email alerts. You can use the slider to select the date, or I'm sorry, the time, name the schedule, and then click Save. You will then be able to save the schedule and then click save in the bottom right. The next option is host to use in links. You'll want to make sure this is the public URL of your DVR because when you receive the email motion alerts it's going to give you the exact web address to go to to pull up the NVR. The final option that we want to review is device discovery. If you purchase a camera and plug it into your network, it will automatically be discovered when Discover Cameras is turned on. That concludes this video of how to use your Ubiquiti NVR. Thanks for watching.